here we are told that a particular set a comma 1 2 comma b a comma c is a subset of a cross b now the question is which of the following elements must definitely be in a cross b so if you know that a comma 1 2 comma b a comma c is a subset of a cross b we can say that a comma 2 are elements in set a and similarly 1 b and c are elements in set b okay now these are not necessarily the only elements there can be more elements in a more elements in b but definitely this must be there because that's what this being a subset of a cross b means because a cross b has all the elements such that first element is part of set a and second element is part of set b so now the question is which of these is definitely there so let's take a comma b well a is the first element in a and b is an element in b so this is definitely part of a cross b what about 1 comma 2 1 is not an element in set a from what we can see so far okay so we can't say that it's definitely a member of a cross b but we can't also say that it's definitely not a member we know a comma 2 are elements one may or may not be an element of a because we are just given a subset we are not we are not told that this is the full list of elements in a cross b right so the question is 1 comma 2 is it definitely part of a cross b no okay similarly 2 comma c well 2 is a first element in set a and c is a first element in set b so therefore 2 comma c belongs to a cross b what about 1 comma c again 1 is not guaranteed c is there but 1 is not guaranteed to be in a so that is also no so we can say that this one and this one are definitely part of a cross b